Hi everybody, it's John with Upstate Brush Control. We are here uh, working on our pond dam fix and uh, just got in the Hyundai 140 and uh, Willie got here with the skiss here unloaded, got all the tools way down there. So we're gonna go unload off the trailer, track way down over the hill here. It's gonna be a good day. All right, there we go gonna be a good day. So I got over here and super frustrating. The pipe floated up out of the water. Not sure what happened. It did not go down like I was pointing on it. Um, uh, stupid thing. Oh well, well, we're gonna see what we could do. So what I'm gonna have to do here is kind of push this out, like use uh, material here to push this out to make some little coffer dam. And um, 
I think I'm gonna start on this side. Well, uh, for sure, well, no water. The other day when we were up here raining, water was actually flowing into this. So I'm just gonna make sure that no more water is flowing into this. Just kind of reach down here and push this edge off and then hopefully figure out, um, you know, stop the water from flowing through the dam. Well, I know it's not now. I got We got it down enough and it was raining the other day, but um, so we're gonna hop in here and see if we can't. We're leaving this up on this side just in case this doesn't work that we'll hook it back up and go from there. But it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Not quite what I was wanting, but we're so far away from the shop and uh, there's not a lot in the budget for a lot more traveling so we're just gonna have to do what we can do while we're here and um, go from there all right so first things first we're getting brush out of the way this right here is we're gonna be taking dirt out of, out of the side of this hill the dam is running right here and um, this is not the emergency overflow um, that is on the other side of the lake over there so what we're doing here is we took out a couple little trees to where we can um, come straight into this hill and start peeling some dirt off for our fill in the holes down here. We just have one skid steer and a, uh, a bucket and then we have this machine here. So not a lot of equipment, but
working room. So I kind of push this back, create like a little levee. Um, I'm pretty sure we can we can work off of this. Um, yeah, we can. Man. Yeah.
I'm gonna size this one right here. Did not think they went that way. Oh, that one kind of feels like it stops right there. We'll dig that one back a little bit. Anybody home in there? Man, alive. What you see, Josh? Start. I need a flashlight. <laughs> That'll work. Oh, oh. Got, wait, we got text? Oh, what do we got? I don't know. From Micah. Hey, oh, that boy. Micah's Woo! engaged. That's why he's not here today. Yeah, Micah. Woo you bad boy. Dang, boy. Oh, cool. I didn't get the text. Oh, here it, it is. Here it is. Here, it is. here it is. I see it. Wow. Nice one. <sighs> yeah, Throw up it for my boy. Mike. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting married. What do you see? Any animal critters in there? I need a bigger flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go look at the other side. Looks like we got some little pit here in my home man alive these dudes been here a while so beaver look oh my goodness look at this That's gotta go all the way through, through for sure. Oh. Do it again, well, Craig's get Craig's trapping them and shooting them. All right. Yeah. I'm afraid that goes through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're pretty sure of that. So water was actually coming all the way through here the other day, and that's what we didn't want is it for its road, and then wipe out the dam. Uh, I think that was it. Maybe right over here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to assess it. All right. Here. Do the little one first or that one? What do you mean, little one? Like, go see where that one goes first? We can, I'm pretty sure it stops.
It was just a little rock. this away you know if we're not hitting anything else through here yeah See what this one's. Okay. I think that ends. Uh, I'll peel that back. A bit. It's right here, so when you go lower.
all right so what we've basically figured out is the water comes was coming in right here for the most part and then it kind of made an actual kind of a t right here um this we're not sure how far that goes but we can we can chase this thing forever we, we got to make some kind of budget reasons um some kind of stopping point but we know it was you know for sure coming in from there and then going out through here so it was a clear path we're not sure if it was like a den or stop or what but um so this way uh it was the hole whatever you want to call it was right through here and then it comes up and then you can see this side right here crazy thing is like where did all where'd all the dirt go <laughs> but see i'm right on top of it right there um there's the hole on the other on this side so what we're gonna basically do think this is gonna work um we did not bring any uh our packer roller sheep sweat or anything like that we're gonna track it in with the skid steer so i'm literally pulling it up and you know getting down to the bottom of the hole making sure it's the bottom of the hole and then throwing it back over we are kind of right at water level if we were really far below water level i would be concerned about it and we're also not getting into like the sides of the dam um this dark dirt is extremely extremely soft um i mean there's very little compaction in it if any at all so we're just going to kind of peel it back flip it up pack it in with the skids here bring it up in lifts and we might run this thing over it a time or two all right so we got our first lift in we're kind of doing this backwards just because we don't have room to move all the dirt and i don't want to move it all all the way out there out of the way then have to bring it back in what is that Ugh. oh it's a root i thought it was a piece of rebar at first <laughs> but uh so i'm gonna basically pull all that back and we'll work our way up um then we need to actually dig that down because i was about two feet lower right there get that lower and then build it back up so it'd be a bunch of flip flopping back and forth here
All right, so pretty much got the front slope graded out. I got a little bit of dirt to put in right here. It's a little low spot. And this is a little high, just a hair on that side. And then I got to touch this up, pack it in with the bucket. I just didn't have any place to sit. But that is basically, <laughs> you know, that's put back right. And this is put back pretty much right. So that's how much, um, you know, holes or excavation, whatever that was tunneling through here. You know, there was a big one here. And then over here on this front slope, there was another one right here. So good bit of dirt It's probably... Uh, two and a half feet deep here in the middle and 30 feet maybe a little bit farther across so we'll just uh, start bringing it in and bring it up in lifts the dirt that I got over here it's not as good a little more sandy pretty sandy Let's see. red clay would be ideal hmm so this is where we were digging out of right here. So I'll bring it in and see how it's, uh, it should work, should work. If we were way below water level, yeah, that'd be an issue, but we're not below water level. Um, this is kind of up here on the top, but, um, So we are pretty much got it on grain. Um, the back side of the, the dam is like, it's all over the place. So we patched in what I could. See like this is all up and down and hilly and everything. And that right there is the uh, best I can. Well, we'll rake it out, but it's pretty close considering how messy this is. Almost looks like somebody dredged and threw some material over here from this side. But we ended up tracking all the way over there to get some good red clay to finish out that. We just kept hitting a bunch of rock. I used a little bit of rock to fill. Um, and then we got some good red clay. Or I say rock, it had rock in it. Once you once you run it over the machine, it'll crush down. If our water level was low, like if that material was below water level, yes, I, I would not have used that. But where it was, I think it'll be fine. Because it's got a really good emergency overflow over there. Um, and then it has this big, uh, you know, overflow right there. So if the water level gets up to here, this is going to be the least of our problems. <laughs> so we just got to rake this out. And then we're going to, um, I got just a hair more to touch up with a, 140 and then um let's see here uh yeah rake it out we're gonna seed and we're gonna seed and straw mat this right here and then we got the pump set up the guys got the pump set up over there then we're gonna rinse out the tracks on everything um before we head out so that all good i think so all right okay uh we have enough just make sure we got plenty to do this okay 
All right, so I'm just gonna touch up a few little things right here, and then uh, I'm gonna pull this up over here where we can shovel it out, and then back blade with the skid steer, and we should be uh, straw mat this, and we should be out of here. I'd say within next hour or so.